Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about how to do some basic texturing on our bug that we've made and we're also going to talk about some basic rendering with Arnold. One thing we have not yet mentioned is how to save your work. I'm sure if you've already made your bug you're interested in being able to save it. Now we can go up here and you can see that under file we have all these new scenes, open scenes, save scene, save scene as, which you can do that but it will just save this individual scene. The best thing to do is to set this up as a project and so what we want to do is go down to project and go to project window. Here you can see I've already had this set up into a project but for demonstration I'm going to put it into a new project. So I'll click on new and you can see that it says uh, new project and I'm just going to use this as demo bug project. Okay. You can set your location. I have mine set to my E drive under Maya projects and these folders down here I just leave them alone. They're default. It's the same from project to project so I don't have to go digging around looking for things. And then I hit accept. Alright so now it goes away. Then I'll go to file and I want to set my project. I click on set project and it says okay where do you want to put this so I've just created my bug my demo bug project right here and I just click on that upper folder and I click set if I were to take a look at that particular folder and let me go ahead and pull that up here in just a second under my Maya projects You see I have my Maya projects, go back up, Maya projects, and here is my demo bug project. And inside that demo bug project are all of these um, folders that I have set up there. Those are the ones that were the default folders. And this is where your assets would be, if you had any assets that you set up for this, images if you made any uh, rendering pictures of it, and we'll see that in a minute your animations, um, some of your source images. If we were using texturing, this is where you can put your texturing source images and we'll pull out of that for you. And then your scenes, this is where your scene would save. So now what I need to do is I need to save this scene. So I'll go to File, Save Scene. Sorry, let's try that again. File, Save Scene As. And I'm going to go ahead and save it as my spider basic body under my scene and you can see here it is Maya projects demo bug project scenes and I'll hit save as. Now if I were to pull that folder back up go back to my scenes you'll see that here it is right here it is saved it as a Maya binary file. We want to make sure that we use our project folders because it helps keep everything organized all of your source images and everything that you need to be able to set up your project will be saved in those default folders. And it keeps things so much more uh, nice and neat so you don't have to dig around trying to find them. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our um, object here. In this case my spider. If I go to my attribute editor, well, first I need to select my uh, part of my object and you can see I have all these things up along the top up here and I've done quite a bit. So one of the things I may want to do first is select everything to help reduce the amount of clutter I have in here. And we'll go to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. And you'll notice that now I've cleaned this up. I don't have nearly as many tabs. I'm down to four. And it's that way for all of my objects. I didn't need all that other information that was embedded into my Maya. So it makes it a little bit cleaner. And I can go back and do it again after I do a little bit more work. So my legs, I have the left side combined and I have the right side combined. My body right now is all apart. And for this one, because I'm just going to make it a, just a simple color, in this case I'm going to make it kind of a, like a black widow, I'm going to use um, the same color for the entire body. So I'm going to go ahead and select my entire body. This will make it easier for me. I'm just going to combine those. So now when I select them and I give them a new uh, object, it'll be easier. Uh, it'll all apply at the same time. If I wanted to put different colors on different parts of the body, I may take a different approach. And then the same for my eyes. So if I select them both, I select, select one, hold shift, and select the second. I'm going to combine the eyes as well. Um, 
So go ahead and we're going to give it some color. If we take a look up here in the attributes editor, we see we have all of these different uh, objects and the end one is a Lambert. Now this one's called Lambert 1. We never want to make changes to Lambert 1. We never want to add any colors to Lambert 1. We want to leave Lambert 1 alone because all of our objects have Lambert 1 assigned as its initial color. If you change it, it's going to change it to that color and everything that you create is going to also be that color. And I guess it's not bad, but um, it could be a little annoying and it's not something you really want to do. So we leave Lambert 1 alone and I'm going to go ahead and select the body again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hold and I'm going to scroll all the way down. So you see we have the edges, vertices, and face top menu. But I'm going to go all the way down here and I'm going to assign it a new material. And since I want to render this in Arnold, I'm going to select an Arnold color, uh, shader. And here I select Arnold and I go down to my AI standard surface and I select that. You can see that it turned it white. And now I have this kind of a shiny uh, color here, this little orb is kind of a grayish color. And then my color is white. And then I have this, my base color and my specular color is white as well. So I have that selected, but I want to make it a little bit more black. And I want to uh, also have it so that um, it's not quite so shiny because I don't want to have a shiny spider body. So I'm going to click on this color I created earlier. It's kind of a, it's a light gray. I just selected it over here on the side. So I, what I did is I selected the color. I clicked on it and then I just selected a color I wanted. You can move, uh, move this around and it'll make different changes to it. But I'm going to go with the default one I set up earlier. And now you can see that the spider body pretty much turned black, but it's still going to have that kind of shininess to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the diffuse roughness and I'm going to move this up a little bit. There's a little bit more roughness. You can kind of see that the orb is changing up there. And then down here on my specular, this is the reflected, reflected light. I'm going to move that way out. Probably somewhere around point, well, point six. And you can see that it's making changes up here as I do that. And I might just go ahead and push a little bit more. All right. And I can go ahead and I can maybe reduce this a little bit. My IOR down just a little bit. No, I don't want to go too far. Somewhere around one. No, I'm not really liking that. I'd like to have this little bit of reflection up here. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. That's the spider's body. Okay, and up here I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this spider body. That way I can refer back to it if I want to make changes or use it for a different part of the body of the spider. Now for the eyes, I'm going to select the eyes. They're kind of shiny and black, right? The spiders have those deep dark black eyes. So we're going to do something similar too. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to assign new material. Again, I'm going to select an Arnold and I want the standard surface. And I'm going to make this one just a deep black. And for this one, I want it to be really, really bright and shiny. So I am going to move the roughness down just a little bit. And I'm going to push out the IOR to get some reflectiveness. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let me go ahead and make that black too. That should really give me some deep, dark black eyes, as you can see there. We may come back when we set the lighting up and play with that a little bit more. Now the legs. Let's go ahead and I'm going to select both sides at the same time. You can see we can hold the shift button and select them both. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click. I'm going to assign new material. And I just remember I forgot to name the eyes, but that's okay. I can go back and grab those in a minute. And again, another Arnold, and I want to use the standard surface. And I'm going to make the legs a little bit darker than the body, so I'm going to just go with the black. And I'm going to bump the roughness down a little bit, move the IOR up a little bit, just because the eight legs are a little bit harder, more insect like, so I want them to be a little more reflective I think. Not quite like the eyes but and that may be way too much. Let's 
see just from this lighting that we're going to have some really dark colors with that. So let me click back on these again. And then you can see now up here in my tab under my attribute editor, I have my AI standard surface 7, which I should have named spider legs. That way I can find it later. Okay. And I'm going to uh, push this back down to somewhere around 1. Not quite as reflective now. I think that might be better. All right, so now we've got the basic colors done. Let's go ahead and select the eyes back. Name that spider eyes. So we can find it later. Okay, so now we need a surface to be able to do our rendering on to make it so the spider really kind of pops out. And we're also going to need to add some light. So one way we can do that is first, let's go ahead and select all the spider. As you saw, I did a marquee select. I just pulled it off to the side and selected the entire thing to make sure I have it all selected. And I'm going to combine the entire spider. So I'm going to go up here to the little pieces of paper, combine them, so now that they're all one, and if I hit the W key, I can see that my spider moves around as one piece. And this will help me later when I want to go set up my surface. Okay, so now I'm going to create a plane. And you can see it popped up underneath my spider there. So that's the little flat four square up here, and it should pop up under here. I'm going to make it really big. So hit your R key, and underneath it, hit the center square, the yellow one right there, and I'm going to make it much bigger. Okay, that should be pretty good. And we can also add a surface to this. So let's right click and hold, go to assign new material again, Arnold, and we want the standard surface. And I'm going to leave it just the white color. And I'm going to leave all the settings alone for right now. We can come back and change those later. Now, one thing that we uh, that makes it easy for us is we have these tabs. And under this tab, click Arnold. And on the Arnold shelf, we see that we have some additional lights here. We have um, an area light, mesh light. We have the photometric light. And if you ever want to know what a tool is called, you can hover over it and look down here in this spot down here. And it says it displays short help tips right here. Well, that's true. So if I hover over this, you can see it says create dome light. I am going to actually create a physical sky. And also, I want a little bit more light. So I'm going to also create an area light. And you can see that I can move it just the same as I can anything else. And here, I'm going to rotate it. See the little pin that's sticking out? That's the direction. I want to point it down towards my spider a little bit, give myself a little bit more light. Over here is my intensity and my exposure. I'm going to push the exposure up. You can see the little ball right there starts to light up more. It gives me some more light. So now, I think we're ready to see what this is going to look like. You know, for me, this is almost looks more like an ant. All right, so if I hit this play button up here, you can see that what I end up with a picture with my spider in it. And I can zoom it in a little bit. Let's see here what I can do. Okay. Alright, so now if I resize this a little bit, I'm going to make it so we can see both my spider and this picture. It's not bad. I don't have as much lighting as I think I should have. And my sky. Go ahead and give myself okay. I create a light box. It's really bright. Than I want it to be. That's the difference between the sky dome and the actual sky. don't really like that. I can either turn it off or I can go into my outliner, my Windows outliner, and I can delete the sky dome. 
or I could have selected it in the background. There we go. No, my light's not like it's supposed to. All right. So now I can see that I have my spider. I've done a real quick render. If I zoom in, we wait for it to kind of clear up. You'll probably hear your computer working kind of hard, and then it'll calm down a little bit. And we can see that we have our spider. We have a little bit of reflection. I have a shadow in the surface. So now that we've rendered it real quick, let's go ahead and do a file, save image. And you'll notice that what it's done is when I go to hit save, it automatically picks up my, my project name, demo bug project, and images file here under my Maya projects. So if I give it a name, I'll just call it spider picture. I'll hit save. Now if I go into my folders, let's see, did I not have those already? Yet? I did not. I must have closed it. Okay. So I go into my folders and under my demo bug project, all my folders, and if I go into images, there it is right there. So everything should be working the way it's supposed to. All right. Have a good day.